Welcome to another MLogic video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will outline how to do basic archives with the MLogic LTFS utility. This utility is free for MLogic MTape and MRAC owners with a serial number above 60001. This utility can be downloaded with a valid serial number at mtapeltfsutility.com. This utility is compatible with Mac OS versions 10.11 and above. When you first launch the LTFS utility, this will be the first screen presented to you. Make sure you have the archive option selected in the top bar. The first thing that needs to be done when starting an archive with this utility is selecting the source for your archive. Clicking on the box with the plus symbol will open up the finder window. This will allow you to navigate to the folder you want to archive. Once the folder is selected, click on Open. The window will now display the folder that will be archived. Clicking on the next option will show the available attached device or devices if you have multiple M tapes or a dual rack device that can be archived to. Clicking on the device will select it by putting a square around the device. If the tape being used already has an LTFS format on it, simply click on the word mount or use the pull down menu and select mount to mount the LTFS formatted tape. If the tape is not formatted, you will receive an error message letting you know the mount attempt failed. If that is the case, you can click on the format option in the error box or select cancel, then select erase from the pull down menu like we are doing in this tutorial. The next window asks you to name the tape and input a serial number of six digits. Leave the format option on LTFS, then select Erase. This process of formatting a tape can take a few minutes. I will speed this up for the tutorial. Once the format is finished, it will mount the tape and display the available capacity on the tape. Select the Next option to see the folder to archive to tape. Once you select Start Transfer, the archive will begin. The archive will take several minutes to complete, so I have sped this up for this tutorial. You will see that the files are starting to archive to tape, shown in dark blue on the progress bar. Once the initial archive is finished, it will start a verify pass, shown in the lighter blue. When the whole archive process has finished, the progress bar will turn green, showing it has completed successfully. The tape will then be unmounted and ejected from the unit. To ensure what was archived to tape is an exact replica of your source material, this utility uses XXHASH64 verification. Detailed transfer logs are also generated with every archive and can be found in the Windows pull down menu at the very top bar. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on the subscribe button below to get more information on MLogic video tutorials.